downpouring today, guys. Downpouring. Only thing we got protecting us will be a little bit of canopy. Hopefully. Wow, look at this big ass X ray. Look at this. I don't know which way to go. Ah, oh, there's a big X right there too. Look at that. Another one. It's like a vapor or some shit. Let's take a look at that and see. I guess this could be an X2 if you wanted it to be. Really depends. If you're just looking at it as deadfall or something, you know, with a bigger purpose. I got the small teepee here. We're at teepee village. I don't know if I said anything yet, honestly. Actually, you know what? So let's, let's just say if maybe some people like to say that the smaller ones are made by the small, small Sasquatch, baby Sasquatch. They practice for the, you know, for when they got to make the big ones when they get older. I brought rock candy, right? We gift rocks a lot. It's just crystals, see? It's not even the, the stick or anything. So uh, the biodegradable box, all that good stuff. Um, crystals, rocks, we gift. And we like to give candy sometimes, so this is uh, something I wanted to leave for the little guys. So what better place? All right. I thought that was kind of a cool idea. I've been holding on to that for a while, quite a while. There's another one. There's a big TP right down there. Uh, there it is. It's really hard to, to work everything right now in this rain. It's one of the big ones. And then there's this one here. This one's probably... Uh, looks like they're starting to starting to make one on that tree too. Look, we will take a look around a little more. I'm getting hit hard right now. <sighs> Whoa. Sounds like someone's singing. It sounds like somebody's singing. I don't know if you guys can hear those loud noises, but there's uh, that's one of them. The farm that's back there around this property, around the, the edge of this place. The uh, huge farm. It's they're running. Uh, they're running those big, big blades. That. They're one of those big blades. Do I just saw something moving high through the brush? It's 
just us out here, guys. That's it. So, anybody else is not going to be no person. I'll tell you that much. Especially in this weather. Nope. There's only one way in and one way out. We're the only car here. Look at this. This one blows my mind. And the fact that this ain't even the biggest one is just... That's what amazes me so damn much. I'll actually... Some of you may not have seen yet the size to scale of this thing. So I'll briefly just stand in front of it. Oh. Okay. Sorry. The hazards of doing your own videos, right? Gotta find a log. Make it work. Right, let me try and pull. It. Okay. All right. Let's try that. I'll give you a size reference. About five and a half foot by seven. My hands probably another. You could easily stack, you could easily stack three of me up, and, and, and that's not even the highest point. Oh. There are technically there are some that there are like two or three that go really high up, but I'd say this is like a twenty foot TP. So just for argument's sake, let's get inside with this pouring rain and just see. Curiosity wants me to see if it stays dry. All this shit was not in here last time. Right? Look at... Whoa. Whoa. It could just be a musty smell because of the... It could just be a musty smell because of the, uh, because of the rain on the wood and stuff. Look at that, though. Doesn't that almost look like it's, a, like, a frame was made? Right? I mean, I wouldn't comfortably lay on this, but I don't know. Oh, my God. That is cool. Interesting. So while I'm tempted to go down to where I kind of heard that singing, it was it wasn't even singing. It was like, it, well, it was, it wasn't chanting, it wasn't yelling, and it wasn't singing. I would put it, I would categorize it as, as uh, a combination of all three. Coming down hard to this. Oops, it was an accident. Okay. I feel like we gotta go this way. I don't know why yet. Yeah, so there was no rain coming in that spot at all. If you wanted to post up there, you could. Very, very easily, very successfully. Now, let's look at this. 
This is the one I was just showing you guys before from a distance saying they might have been making another one. What is that? Look at that. Look at the way this one was being done. This camera is getting soaked. Soaked. Look at that. Look at the, look at the, like, the way it was laid, laid, laid. For what? Why would you want to do that? I'm asking from a person's perspective, like a human person's perspective. Why would you want to do that? That's a huge print. Unless there's a couple of little hoof prints, so unless a deer was scraping. Look at this. Look at the bark. Look at this shit. Look at this. The bark was laid on top of here. See? Well, let's get on the knee. Look. So I'm assuming this was all layered up to keep somebody out of the rain, right? Because if you were a person, why would you do this? Why? Why? Why would you be out here in this preserve, like... And where would you go? Why wouldn't you be here now? Amazing. We're gonna come around. We're gonna come around and get a better look. I'm stoked. I'm stoked. There's a water bottle. So, let's, I mean, we can't rule it out, right? But I wanna, I wanna go through the process with you. I'm thinking as I go, and I'm, I'm expressing as I go. But the fact that those teepees are right here too, and then, so, it, okay, again, now if you were a person and you came here and you needed to, you know, stay out of the rain or out of the elements just in general, why'd you go through all the trouble? How, first of all, how would you lift all this shit and do all this shit? But why'd you go through all the trouble when these are already up? And then there's a big one back there somewhere. There's another one over there. Why would you go through all this trouble? Look at that. So this side was one was being made. It looks like it fell apart. Look at how this tree was torn. Jesus. Amazing. Hello, my friends. No disrespect, just looking. Wow. X. Look at this. The straws put in here. It's not really well done because it's wet under there. So I mean it could have this could have been something from another day. You know what I mean? Very well could have been. But look at look at what it's made on. Do you see this? This actually goes, this tree here. That's not easy to do. That tree goes over there. It starts there and it comes all the way over. Looks like it's broke there a little bit. It's all the way over. All the way down here. So, all right, so it started there. All right, so we could kind of rule that one out because if it broke off of there and just fell, all right, that's how it could have happened. No problem. But the rest of this stuff. So hopefully this, this can spark a conversation in the, in the you know, Maybe we'll do a premiere, but hopefully this could spark a conversation in the chat or, you know, in the, at the premiere or, or uh, you know, in the comments, because I'd really like to get your input on this one. Really, really would. Again, look how close it is to the, 
to that teepee. So mind you, this wasn't here last time. This stuff wasn't here last time we were here. Let's so to do our to do ourselves justice, we're gonna we're gonna go down to the other TP before we go up to the other TP. We're gonna go down to this other one and see if there's some sticks fell down. See if there's any changes. Hopefully this is going to last because I'm I might lose you at any given time. But if it does go off, I will try to get some more some more video. Okay. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all your input. This place always uh, really impresses me for obvious reasons, and then some that are unseen. It just happens to be like an open area too, which is kind of interesting. This one's a little clear, but not not very cleared out. But you can tell it gets it gets kind of the trees get kind of taken out of it before before they do that. They clear out all the trees from the area. Okay, here's the other one, or another one. I don't want to act like this is the only ones in here because there are more, but. They're not as, like, breathtaking as this. I don't know if you guys can hear that big. Whatever it is, lawnmower, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I'm not seeing any major differences. I think maybe it was extended a little bit. I'd have to look. It looks like maybe there was some more trees added onto it and extended outward. There's one of the big X's we saw when we came in. All right, so I'm hearing that, what I thought was like a singing or whatever. Uh, we might debunk it right now. What it could be is like a reverb uh, or an echo and a reverb or whatever you want to call it. And I'm not sure how it's said, but um, it might be that off the motor or the, uh, the blades. And as it's cutting and or like the engine's revving, whatever it is, it's it's giving some kind of reverb and kickback and or an echo sound, which is making it sound like there's like a chanting, singing type of sound coming through the through the woods. Even though it's far away, it's carrying. I think this tree is actually that tree right there is actually. Look at the. Do you see this? You see how these these branches are they they look like they're coming down that's cuz this is upside down got it this tr this whole tree is upside down <clears throat> ah all right this rain is coming in really really hard really hard really heavy yeah that tree is upside down okay all right we're going to push on while we still can Hopefully. <laughs> Thought that was a shed. This one looks like it gets kind of wet inside. So I don't, you know, it's not made for that purpose. I was just curious on that one to see if. What are these? What? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, you know what? That's odd, but you know what that could be? That could be a gift from Brian. Montauk is strange, Brian. From like last time, because that's really old looking. Whatever that is. Potato. Could have been from me too. <laughs> I can't always remember everything I gift, so.
Uh, this happened to me when I was here with him, actually. While we're bringing him up, this happened last time I was here with him. I got uh, very turned around. Kept losing the trails. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, well, we're back on track here. All right, as you can see, I'm filming with you guys front to back. I don't want to stop it. I don't want to stop it. My original plan was... When I came here, I was going to make some shorts, try to get TP Village out there to, to some people. And you know what? The, uh, the bigger picture is more important, I'm thinking. So. If I can figure out how to do a short, I will, but... It's not, it's not the most important thing. I like the way this levels up with the tree. Oh, I'm going to try and take that step up and see what's here. You see the way these things are all in here too, it's interesting. I know to many people, like, they only see deadfall when they look at this, but if you're in person, I could show it to you better. This might be another X here. This could be ground X's too. Uh, there, there. So when I'll see three X's like that, one, two, and then three up here, the more visible one, um, they tend to be areas that you're not supposed to cross. So I see a game trail going through there or whatever. It, it kind of looks staggered, so it might not even be a game trail. It might not be a deer, but... Even if I wanted to go in here, I would not. Out of respect. If it was something I didn't know, I could, I could kind of be like, all right, whatever, you know. Play the, uh, play the ignorant card safely, but they know, they know what I know. If that makes sense. It's a little more than telepathy when it's a. Uh, when it's like a deep connection like that. And I'm not just, it's not like, oh, you might say like, oh, I don't like the fact that they can just access like that. Like, that's kind of scary. I'm allowing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm leaving myself open for that, for that contact. It's not just something that, that'll just happen. Oh. Quite a bit going on down there, but I think it's bird activity. I'm gonna try and get all the way down this hill. It's very far away. It's too far. It's too far to get with the camera. Maybe one day I'll have something that works a little further. You can only hope. This is a great upgrade from the last one we were using, though. My last cell phone was like a joke. The big camera I got, I don't like. I can't video for very long. I can only take pictures. Uh, I don't really know how to use it properly. Camcorder's broken. That didn't last very long couple of the uh, GoPro type cameras are uh, hard to work, but uh, well, easy to function but hard to use because they don't, they don't zoom, they don't do anything I need them to do, so they're really good for some things. Uh, 
sunglass cameras. Yeah, those are pretty cool, but they don't zoom either, so it's like, there's a lot of good things about certain things, and then, but there's a reason I always revert to this as a primary. Plus, I have no tech skills, so all these SD cards full of material and content and whatever you want to put it, footage, however you want to phrase it, uh, I have many SD cards full, and I have no idea what to do with them. Okay, so we're coming, we never come back here, which is cool, but we're coming up on the big teepee. I don't know if you could see the edge of it, but I believe that is... A piece of where we want to be. Got some bad news today. So I just kind of wanted to get out of here as soon as possible. That looks like a fresh print right there. Very fresh. It looks like it, it looks pretty thin, but so I don't know, maybe it's not, maybe it's not. Cause my foot is even wider than that. Let's take a quick glance real quick, I'll show you. Oh, maybe look, there's another impression right there, right behind the log. Again, this is not just regular deadfall up here. It looks like it's been layered up to make this spot get less rain. See it? Those, all these trees don't belong here. They're brought in because they because they have that like spread out effect. Those wide, wide branches that that make like a netting almost. Those are the things we're hearing, basically. We're hearing these, uh, we're hearing these big, these big machines. They're on the, f the farm. This farm goes, goes really far in each direction. It goes all the way around that way too. And then it wraps around that way too. And then, I mean, that's just Long Island. But whatever, this is just... So... Probably a nice place to just sit and hang out. Whoa. Whoa. Sounded like something was walking. Just a couple steps, but. I'm leaving the camera on the wide view. So we can pick up as big of an area as possible at once. I know some oh, that was. I know sometimes it's more fun to look at it like this because we get a closer look. But Usually, there's some kind of an alert when they're around, uh, in some sense, some fashion. And you could just kind of screenshot and zoom in and take a look around. Those upside down trees up there too. Might have broke off. It actually might have broke off from there. Looks like there's another teepee back there.
I dropped the ball. Um, well, actually, no, I didn't. I, I was so. Let me get my thought together here. I wanted to bring the recorder out here and leave it out here, and overnight. So obviously, I can't be out here at night. It's just not. It's not allowed. Um, so I can't even imagine what happens out here. Maybe even one day we'll, we'll get a camera going out here, we'll leave a camera out here, like kind of be stealth about it and put one out here. Um, but uh, I, an audio I think would be very cool, an audio recording. So I wanted to do that, but I, I don't think I'll be back over here to come get it. And I still have one sitting at one location that it's been there for months. There we go. This is the this is the big one, big TP structure. Hence why we call it TP Village. These things are all over the place. There's a there's about a five foot one over there. Oh, see? I don't know what that was. Sounded like something was thrown at the teepee. Some of these are about 40 foot up. 40, 40, probably over 40 foot trees, some, some of them that are part of this. I'm very, very wet, too. Uncomfortably wet is an understatement. It sounds like there's things walking around. Like something's just not even like running by. Not, 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 not just like nonchalantly just kind of like walking with me. That stuff is new. Take a look at this real quick. Some of you guys were interested in this thing last time because it looked like there was something going on with it. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. This is all new and torn up stuff. Why? I'm not exactly sure. Did it just happen? Maybe. Maybe. It's hard to say on this one. It's very gloomy looking back there. There's like a smoke in front of me. It's very odd. It's like a mist. Not even a mist, it's like a smoke. I see like a white smoke in front of me. As soon as I stood on that, I kept seeing it coming in front of my face. Holy shit. Back there between the trees and in the light, where the light's coming through, it looked like, it, it, does, it still looks like someone's standing there, but. I'm not picking it up on here, on the camera at least. We got the video of something back there last time we were here. It was like way back there. We're not going to venture that far today. All 
All right, this will be the size to scale portion for for this one. Try to keep it brief so as it's not boring for you guys but that's the only way I can get pictures of myself with these things is if I do a video of it and then I go back later and get a screenshot so thanks for bearing with me while I strike a little pose <laughs> all right Things impressive, ain't it? The fact that we have some some people that think that humans made this like just bloat. my mind. I swear, I thought I was going to see somebody behind this tree with the noise I just heard. It's tough in the rain because of how much noise it makes as it pitter-patters off different things and it comes down through the leaves, etc. You know, things fall down. Uh, you know, it, it kind of... That's a big impression on the ground, too. It kind of makes it difficult to rule out... To rule it out, but... There are times... Uh, I've ignored a lot of sounds just because it is raining, but there, there, are, there have been times where I'm just like, nope, that wasn't, that was not from, from rainfall or anything like that. It's just too loud. It's too like, it's too in your face obvious. If that makes sense. You know, like when somebody, like a child, wants your attention and like. They do something, do something, do something, do something, and then, like, eventually, like, they just step their level up so far that you can't ignore them no more. Picture that from, like, a fucking 800-pound something. You know, I've been, I was wondering something the other day, and uh, I was just watching these people arguing over woo. The woo. Stop with the woo shit. Stop with the woo woo. And uh, uh, apparently this is a paranormal. It's making Bigfoot more than just a thing in the woods. So, some people just get so peeved out by this, I guess. And uh, they argue. I mean, fight, argue. You know, fuck you, I'll throw you out of this group, and I'm going to report you. I mean, just going off and, like, just attacking each other personally. It just gets so ugly over, over differences 
And uh, my question is always the same, because like the one guy who was arguing with these people, who who were coming in and, and offering him information and, and their input and what they had happened, and he just kept shutting them down. And it seemed very cult-like. I'm not gonna lie. It seemed like it seemed very cult-like to just be like, shut your mouth, shut your mind, talk about this, or don't, or don't speak. And I was like, just wow, you know, that's that's harsh. And I can get like, if you don't like somebody individually, or you don't want to deal with them, or you don't like what they're saying, cool. Like everybody has the right to speak their voice, and then everyone has the right to not listen to somebody. I do it all the time. I'll just be like, I don't, I don't want to deal with this shit right now, or I don't, or I just don't care for the person, so I don't want to hear what they have to say. And that, that's just me, like whatever. So I get it. It's all personal. But I wonder, so what I'm getting to now is I wonder why somebody like this particular gentleman was, he's been looking for the Sasquatch for, I believe, man, I think he said something like, I've been uh, doing this for like 45 years or something, and I have... You know, I've, I've, whatever. He was really just bashing all these people. And it was like, he was the, he was the person who ran the group. He was the admin. And, uh, I had just asked Bubba about this yesterday. I said, man, you know, people keep talking about... Remember when people kept talking about beetles did this and bugs did this? I was like, that can't be right. And then this shows up here. Anyway. um, So, back to what I was saying. It's a drag again. If you were at it for 45 years or something like that, and you were getting really a whole lot of nothing. I mean, a whole lot of nothing. Like, you saw a Sasquatch, and then, and then since then you've tried to figure everything out, and you, got, and you get nothing. Day after day after day after day. And then there's somebody, I'll use myself, because that's just what I'm going to do, because I don't want to use anybody else. Now you got somebody like myself who comes along and says, Hey... You know, there's a paranormal aspect to it, you know, and, and there, or there's, uh, you know, more to it than just that, you know, they're, they're very advanced and, you know, I might not know to what degree, but hey, there's, there's a lot more to it than that. And just shut it down. You just want to shut it down and continue to get nothing. So in turn, these people will say that we make things up, like, people like myself will make things up just to, just because we want to have activity, we want it to, we want to make a story, or whatever the case may be, I would love nothing more for it to be, than to, it to be easier, and simpler, and just say, hey, look, there he goes, you know, and that's it, I know that's all he can do is walk, just like me, All he could possibly do is walk. I saw him, now all he can do is walk, duck down, you know, maybe he's strong and he can run away or climb a tree or that's it. And that's it. That's all he can do. I would love if that was the case. But it ain't. But it ain't. And I just don't get it. And I, I'm not gonna, I don't get mad, and I try, I, I reached out to a couple of the guys that were getting harassed on that, that particular moment, and I said, uh, they were, it turns out they were both veterans too, which I thought was kind of interesting, they were both combat vets, and I said, you know, hey, I said, you, you get, you get, you know what you got going on, you got a lot going on, so why don't you just find comfort in that, and know that they know what they're doing, know that the Sasquatch know what they're doing, know that they know who they're reaching, and who they're not reaching, and don't try to chase down people like that who are so dead set on shutting it down and shutting them down and what, they're, what they really are. Um, you know, because 
they're not getting activity for a reason. They're not getting the, that info for a reason. So stop chasing them down and trying to give it to them and, and, and help them when they don't want it. They don't want it or they're not ready for it, whatever the case may be. You got to let them come to you. And, and then in turn, I said, there are so many people who are willing and openly want your time and your, you know, what you've got going on and want to go and dive into that. And it's a rabbit hole, granted, but there are people that want to dive in there with you. So give them the time and, and your effort, you know? So in time, now, there's so much to this and I can go on and on and on, but, uh, you know, in time, they'll they'll come out if they're comfortable enough to who they want to. They'll, they'll open up to the world or to more individual people, right? But for now, for now, let's just try to be kind to each other. And if we disagree, let's just agree to disagree and go go our separate ways. When that guy said to me, stop, don't, you know, don't, don't, if you're, you're new here, don't say shit about woo-woo. I said, what's woo-woo? And he said, orbs, uh orbs, cloaking, whatever, and that was it, that was the last, you know, I didn't even read anymore, I said, forget it, yeah, all right, I said, good, and I told him, good luck with everything, and that was that, that was that, because I don't have the energy to put in there, I don't, there's too much happening out here, like, that's enjoyable and, and amazing to waste time arguing with other humans on the internet. I don't know. So anyway, I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate your open minds. And if you would like to hash this out with me a little bit, uh, like that that thing that we saw in there, uh, it would be greatly appreciated because normally we'll see things like this. Well, we'll just go to this one. This was that structure that I showed um, on a short, and it said uh, ground connectivity. You know, I kind of put a question mark, even though, even though I know, <laughs> I just kind of want to... I don't want to force things on anyone. I want I want people to to understand and think for themselves, right? So so I don't try to push it down throats. But this is that's what this is. All this stuff in here is all ground connectivity structure. It's a ground structure for connectivity. It's all for a reason. And I'm sure it goes off into the brush, into somewhere where they hang out, or maybe it's even right here. Then maybe they sit right here. We do know they like to sit at trailheads. That way they can protect everything that comes in and manage everything that comes in. So if the parking lot is right there, that's my vehicle right through the brush, right? There's nobody else here, but whatever. That's mine right there. So got a big truck. Luckily, we could see it through the brush. So everybody comes in right there. Anyone who comes in has to come in right there. So maybe they sit right here and that's why, right? So now my question is, why was that structure back there used to as like rain? Like it looked like it was used to keep somebody dry or something dry, a being dry, a Bigfoot dry, a person dry, a human person dry. I don't know. I just want your input. So if you don't mind, that'd be cool. <laughs> Maybe we already talked about it if this was a premiere. I don't know. Oh Shit, there's deer back there. It's got to be deer. That has to be deer because they're moving too much. All right, we're gonna look real quick. That's that's private property, I think, though. Yeah. So, excuse my little rant there, but it, you know, there's a purpose. There's a reason for it. <clears throat> I really, I really want to see things change for the better. You know. I had some people bark back at me about it, <clears throat> like uh, they argued with me a little bit about it. Maybe they had somebody specific in mind that they didn't like from the younger generation. I don't know, but I'm excited about them because they work well together. They're so open-minded. They're so inquisitive. They're so kind. They they they're such great people. These younger younger kids coming up and doing this stuff, and uh, it's exciting to me. It's exciting to me. It, it looks to me like it's going to be a change for the better amongst the community. And, uh, you know, that's not to knock anybody who's whatever. It's not to knock anybody. But it's just, for me personally, I'm excited about it.
So, all right, guys, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you have a blessed day. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next one.